We're going to drill a hole for our power cable. Honeywell assumes that when you attach your transformer to your L5100 that you're going to be a professional installer and that you're going to use a pre-cut length of wire, two conductor wire, to make your connections. There's a terminal strip on the back of the front plate of the L5100, which you would land your power, and on the, tr on the transformer itself, you have two terminal screws, positive and negative, for your power wire. For us DIYers, the LT dash cable is a much easier way to attach this. The LT cable has a pre-made DC connector on one end and two spade connectors on the other. Therefore, the spade connectors connect to your transformer. The DC plug plugs right into a port on the L5100. We recommend an LT cable with every installation of an L5100. Of course, no one wants a wire hanging below the L5100 because that doesn't look good. So what we're going to do is show you how to fish the cable through your wall so that it's hidden. You'll notice on the back plate there is a small tab in the corner. Simply remove the tab and we now have room to fit the DC connector. We've already marked our hole and we have a nice one half inch drill bit big enough so that we can get our LT cable DC connector through the wall. So now that we've made our hole for the LT cable, we need to make a matching hole to fish uh, the cable that's going to connect to the transformer. We have our two terminals on the back of the transformer. We're going to use this plug here for power for the L5100. Plug it in. Note where the hole should be. And we're going to drill this hole. We're going to use the same half inch drill bit, which may be too big, but you can always patch up after. Of course, make sure all power is cut off before doing any drilling around an outlet. We are now ready to fish our LT cable. So we are now ready to fish our wire up. What we did was use the snake. We fished through the hole that we had drilled up before previously. You can tell that we had to make this hole slightly larger to grab the fish and get it through because our outlet wasn't quite directly below the L5100. But now that we've got it, we're going to attach our DC connector to the snake with some masking tape. You want to make sure that you cover everything completely so that you don't snag anything inside the wall. And we can now pull this up so that the DC connector can plug into the back of the L5100. So we have our snake. We are attached at the bottom. Simply pull it up. Careful at the top here. We can pull the DC connector through. With our wire pulled through, Fish through the back of the L5100 backplate. Tighten the backplate to the wall. This is a good chance to level out any uh, inaccuracies with our screws. And we have a nice secure backplate. So now that we have our backplate secure, our LT cable fished through the hole in the back, simply take the front case. You have your two hinges at the bottom. Snap it on. You can let it hinge and hang down nicely like this. Next step is to install our rechargeable backup battery. 
this way, if we ever lose power to the house, and we've lost our AC power, you get up to 24 hours of backup battery off of this little guy. It mounts in this section right here. There is a notch for the wire, and there are three wire clips to keep it nice and neat. Once it's in there, to prevent it from falling out, we have a battery retainer clip that came in the kit, and there is a small little screwdriver that came in the baggie with the screws and the wall anchors. The retainer clip has a notch on the bottom, goes underneath, and there's a hole for the screw at the top. Battery is nice and tight. You can go ahead and plug this connector into the top port on the front case. It's a smaller one. You won't be able to mess, mess this up because the other one won't fit. The LT cable goes into this DC port right here. Nice and easy. To prevent your LT cable from ever f getting unplugged and falling back into your hole, which would be a nightmare. You have to do that really easy fish again. We're going to use this wire tie and make a nice loose connection so it doesn't get jump bunched up, but tight enough that this DC connector head will not be able to fall through the hole. Like so. And we'll trim this and then we'll be able to close this back up. we can close our panel. We are now fully mounted our L5100. Okay, now that we have our L5100 mounted up on our wall, we have our LT cable plugged in, last thing we need to do is connect our power supply to our spade connectors. A couple things I want to point out here. Most Honeywell transformers, if you've ever had a hardwired Vista series panel or even the older Lynx panels, polarity did not matter when you were making your connections here. It's very important on the Lynx Touch that you do observe polarity. There's a red spade lead here. Your terminal is marked with a plus. You have the black one with a negative. Just make sure you match that. Slide the spade connector under the screw, like so. Tighten it with the screwdriver. Make sure this connection is tight. Do the same for the red. and you are good to go. One last thing I want to point out, we have a wall plate cover that has two screws at the top. A lot of people will have a wall plate cover that has one screw in the middle that keeps the cover tight to the outlet. If you have that, this screw at the top of the power supply with a little red washer is convenient. What you would do is pull this screw out in the middle, remove the wall plate, or I'm sorry, uh, leave the wall plate there, plug the transformer in, and then you would use this screw to replace the one that was in the middle and you've actually secured your power supply to the outlet so that no one will inadvertently unplug your security system when they're looking for uh, an available outlet. Because we don't have that, we're going to simply take this, the washer off the screw, remove it, fish our wire into the hole, plug our power supply in.